Another beautiful day outside, guys. Look at this. It is wonderful. I hope so. I, I don't know what I'm even talking about. I hope you guys are outside enjoying the weather, watching this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's been, actually been very patchy all day. We've had a lot of thunderstorms rolling through. You can kind of see some way off in the distance there popping up. It's been really weird weather lately. Uh, it's been really hot, so that's nice, but very mild. And you know, when it gets hot and humid, storms form. So there's Brian cutting the old lawn. Anyways, it's time. It's time to do some stuff. I, uh, it's the evening, as you can see, I just got off work. Me and Matt were renovating a house. And I figured, you know, let's go smash out a video. So I'm gonna head over to the barn. Me and Brian are gonna try and throw the track on the skid steer, get them tightened back up again, then head down the track, load up the Pontiac, and my brother let me borrow his Sawzall. I need to buy one of these things. So anyways, we're gonna head down the track, lift up, uh, well, at least the Pontiac. I'm gonna cut the cat out of that, and then uh, maybe we'll see, we'll maybe cut the cat out of the other two cars too, and then, um, yeah, load up the Pontiac, take her back to the scrapyard in the morning, and then I think I'm gonna swell, swing by Melbourne Mud Madness. It, it doesn't start till Saturday, but uh, Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm gonna swing by there, see what's up, cap off this video, and then uh, I'm going down to Les's. We're gonna rip some Mavericks. So, anyways, let's head over to the barn. We'll get that uh, skid steer back together, and uh, head down the track and see what we can, see what ruckus we can cause down there. Hope it doesn't rain. I don't think it's gonna rain for the rest of the night, but uh, let's chop some things up. What are you doing, Tobes? You wanna go for a ride? You're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, Toby. Never know what he's doing. Toby. Hot dogs. <laughs> Toby. You all work on the skid steer with me? Get her back together, buds? <clears throat> so this is the track, as you can see. She popped right off. Came right off, hey? How are we gonna get back, get that back on there, Tobes? How are we gonna do that? Hey? What do you think? You just wanna go for a truck ride, don't ya? Don't ya? Put a hair on this dog. Hairball. Hairball. I can brush him every day. And you just keep shedding. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. She's all jacked up. Through the block in there, that's how you tighten them up. Get her on there. Look at all the grease coming out of here. Yeah, go forward more. Stop. Well, that's not good. You got a cleat coming out. All right, back up. Back up. Backwards. Oh, 
stopped up. Almost there. Keep coming backwards. Actually, hold on. Just wait, just wait. Keep coming backwards. Keep coming. Stop, stop. Keep coming. Boom. All right, keep coming backwards. Stop. All right, backwards. So close. Keep coming. Now we just gotta tighten it up. Get in there. Whew. That was fun. I wouldn't recommend doing that because it is dangerous. You know, you can get your hands caught in there. It can fall, it can fall on your feet, but uh, I've done it like 10, 15 times before. So <clears throat> that is the daily struggle of how you get the tracks back on the skids here. And it is quite a workout. I am sweating. Oh yeah, nothing better than a, than a sweaty ginger. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna load up the trailer, or put the trailer on. I'll head down the tracks, track. I can't even think right now. Head down the track, I'm gonna swap tires there real quick and then get that other car on. And Hopefully she goes easy, we'll see though. All right, beauty night, look at this. I got the trailer down here, I got the Pontiac ready to go. I got the freaking right tire iron to take these off now. Uh, we'll do a quick tire swap. There's Brian with the tractor. He didn't want to bring the skid steer down here and risk the tracks falling off again. So uh, let's get these tires swapped out. We'll get that thing loaded up and then I'm going to have a beer. I'm sweating my ass off. Oh, oh well, it's good for you. Better than the sauna. Man, these things are freaking rusted right on. Uh, get rid of them. Damn tired now. Look at these things. These things are so freaking rusted. Can't even get, off, get them off the nut. There we go. That's not coming off. That's not coming off. That's not coming off. Uh, near my hand attempt at uh, cutting the cat off don't pop the tires Brian he's gonna pop a tire Whoop. Oh, oh, she almost tipped there yeah of course someone took the cat off already Frick. or it fell off someone took it <laughs> it's gone. We'll do this one. That's hilarious. I was wondering if it, something was gone on that because when we uh, were driving it, it was so loud. All right, there should be one on this one. Unless there's been a cat thief down here lately. You never know what those cat thieves. Uh. All right, oh. let's get this thing fired up. Bring her in there, big, big Brian. What time is it? 8.30, Jesus. It's bedtime. Tip it up. We are full struggle city now. I tried to cut the cat off, but it just burned my blade right up. And as I lifted the car, it snapped this tire off. So 
Instead of using the ramps, it's just going to lift the front of the car up. I'll back under, and then we'll just lift the back of the car up. Hopefully. <laughs> There's no easy way of doing anything down here, that's for sure. So you're going to go on. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. She just slid right on. I took the fender off this, so it slid on easier. We lost the spoiler, too. <laughs> awesome, nice rain. What an evening. Uh, whew, we got this thing on, we're not too bad. Struggle with the cats though, I don't know. I don't know if I was using the wrong blade. I was using a steel blade, but maybe I should use the demolition blade. I've never really used a, a sawzall before, so not really sure, but maybe I'll try a different blade. But we got the tires swapped on that car. I'm gonna loosen these tires off in the morning, take it to the scrapyard keep those tires for other uses and then gonna head down to uh, Melbourne tomorrow check out they have a mud fest this weekend so <clears throat> I don't think it's on tomorrow but I know a lot of people are showing up from like out west so we'll go check that out see what's going on and then we'll wrap up the video but for now we'll wrap her up for tonight we'll see you in the morning another beautiful morning out here what's up guys got the car strapped down I just ripped the battery out of it because you get extra if you take them out separately I tried cutting the cat off last night, but apparently I had the wrong blade for the saws also. That didn't go well, I just left it on, whatever. Anyways, going to take this thing to the scrapyard, head home, load up the Maverick, and then head down Windsor Way. Let's, uh, let's keep this day rolling here. And we're back. 11,000. Not too bad. And there she goes. I left the one wheel on because it was completely bald, but I'm stealing the other two. Good for burnouts uh, burn and such. Get rid of it, throw it in the pile. On to the next. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it is hot. All right, we got 330 bucks for that Grand Prix. That's going into the next car. Either, I got a call, we're getting a supercharged Mercedes and or a PT Cruiser sometime next week. So I'll pick that up. Anyways, now let's head to Melbourne and check out and see what uh, see what the guys are doing at the Mud Fest there. It doesn't really start till tomorrow, but people are arriving. So let's go see some mud. Let's load this thing up. It's a little dusty. I don't think I'm gonna wash it though because I feel like if I do wash it, it'll be dirty by the time I get there. Well, apparently I left it in reverse. There we go. I was feeling a little lazy and I didn't use the ramps. Turns out you don't even need them. Drove it right on. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. She loaded up. Just going to crush some quick lunch here. Yeah. I was too lazy to... Uh, well, I wanted to see if I could drive it without the ramps, so I tried it. And uh, popped right on. No problem. Let's have some lunch. Yeah, yeah, the old skid steer. So I've decided to give the girl just a quick rinse, just to get the dust off it. There's a lot of dust on my truck and trailer. Pretty hard to see on camera, but that's basically what it looks like. That should be black, so I'm just gonna give her a quick rinse and then we'll be out of here. Sometimes it's a quick rinse helps. Anyways, I'm gonna head over to London Pier later, just called, apparently I have a package. I'm guessing it's the wrap for that. And then uh, we'll head, head down to Melbourne and see what's going on down there. Can't wait to wrap this thing up. It's gonna look so sick. Old Pier later headquarters. I don't usually come here, but when I do, it's because they don't want to deliver to my house, apparently. Hopefully they got what I need. Look what it is the wrap for the Maverick. It's crazy how a wrap comes in this little tiny thing, eh? Let's get her on there. Welcome to Melbourne Mud Madness. Boom. Let's see if we can find the guys. I'm going for a ride in this weapon. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's probably 
There are the pets. Got some jumps in here this year. They're doing like a speed and style type race. Anyways, this 13 year old's gonna take her for a ride this thing. <laughs> Your truck? Uh, kinda. Kinda? Mine and my dad. Oh, nice. <laughs> riding there there's no Cadillac but she she goes what a beauty day I wish I could stay for the whole weekend but we got uh, other plans so I figured I'd just swing by on my way down to uh, Windsor and uh, get some footage I'm sure these pits are just gonna get worked up no one's been through them yet so they're not even soupy they're just water right now look at that the old shit tank they're using to fill up 
filler up. Apparently that thing just fills itself with water. Under five minutes. What a weapon this thing is. Crab dragon. That thing sure makes lots of noise. <laughs> oh. Yes, a ripping. Definitely a beauty day indeed. Oh, it'd be a great day to drink beer all day. And do stuff like this, that's for sure. I want to go in the big ponds, the soupy ones over there. Maybe I can convince them to go through there later. All the guys are just setting everything up, getting all the fences set up. I think they said they usually have a few thousand people show up, up on their trucks. What a rig. Imagine putting that thing down for that little compound. These are the trucks that are going to be ripping tomorrow. Look at this thing. Jesus. <laughs> My head doesn't even hit the freaking... Look at this. Oh, it's close. <laughs> there. There's a better perspective. You can barely touch the bumper with your head. Ugh. I think we should film you trying to get in there. I know. How do I even... Here, I'll hold it. Here, let's film. Oh, watch your figure there. How do you even get up here? You got to figure it out to drive it. There you go. <laughs> I like it. How do I get down? <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap this video up for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the mud. If you're in Melbourne, come out and swing by the festival. And we'll see you guys later.